Hi, it's Miss Rebecca with the Culpeper County Youth Services Department, and today I have something special that I would like to show you how you can do at home. The materials that you need are your favorite book, and some white paper, and some markers. Um, you, if you have stamp pads at home, you can use those, but it's no need to go out and buy stamp pads. You can use markers just fine. What we're going to do is take our favorite story today and turn it into a storyboard using fingerprints to make the characters in the story. And one of my favorite stories is The Three Little Pigs, and this version is by Bernadette Watts. The Three Little Pigs, and if you see, I used my fingerprint to make these little pigs. The three little pigs lived with their mother, and soon she came to them and said, you are now big pigs, and you should go out on your own. So the first little pig came to a farmer, and the farmer was cutting his hay, and he said, could I please have some of that straw to build my house? And the farmer, feeling sorry for him, said, yes, you may have a bundle of straw. So he quickly built his house of straw. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a marker, ask your moms and dads to help you or to make sure that this is okay, but I have washable markers, and they come off just fine with soap and water. So I'm going to draw my little pig in his house. There he is. Now, as the little pig was resting from all of his hard work, there came a knock at his door. And this is with gray marker. I'm going to make the person, who, the character who came to his door. So I just take the marker and I rub it on my finger and push it down. That gives me my fingerprint. Now, I'm not very good with a wolf, so you have to bear with me. Doesn't look like a very scary wolf, but to that little pig, he was very scary. And he was licking his teeth, and he knocked on the door. Little pig, little pig, let me in. And the little pig said, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Well, I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in. And that's just what he did. So the little pig started running, and he soon came to the house of his brother, which was made of sticks. That brother had built his house of sticks, and he ran as fast as he could, and he went and said, let me in, the wolf is after me. So the wolf followed that little pig, and now there are two little pigs in the wooden house, and here is the wolf at their door. Little pig, little pig, let me in. Not by the hair of our chinny chin chin. Well, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And that's just what he did. Now, the third brother had built his house out of bricks. And bricks are very sturdy when you build your house out of it. So the two little pigs ran to the brother's house that was built of sticks. And they said, let us in, let us in, the wolf is chasing us. So they did, just in the nick of time, shut the door. And now there are three little pigs in the brick house. And the wolf said, little pigs, little pigs, let me in. Not by the hair of our chinny chin chins. So he huffed. And he puffed, and he huffed, and he puffed, but the bricks were too strong. He could not blow in the house. But what did he see? He saw that on the back side of their house, there was a chimney. And he decided that he was going to crawl up the side of the house and go in through the chimney. Well, what he did not realize was that the three little pigs had started a fire in the fireplace. So there was lots of smoke coming out, and it was very hot. So the wolf climbs up, and the smoke becomes so much that he gets so much of it in his eyes that he couldn't see. So the little big bad wolf ran back down and ran into the forest, never to be seen again. The three little pigs lived happily ever after in their brother's brick house. 
So that's the end of my favorite story using fingerprints to make a storyboard. I'd love to see which ones you can make at home, and you can post them there on our website at the Culpeper County Library Facebook page. Um, we would love to see your storyboards. And until the next time, just keep reading.